Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Django World. So in today's video, we are gonna see character field and its property. Okay, so in the VS code, last time we have just created a simple form and we have rendered it in the templates. Okay, I'll just show you that and I'll just zoom a bit. Okay, so this is the form which we created. Now here, let's ignore this for now. So I'll just leave the space between and we have this character field okay so let me save this and run the server so i'll say python manage.py run server now i open this one in the browser okay so i have some errors let me run the server again And I guess I am facing some errors. So request site has been refused. Let me go with 5000. Okay, now we are able to access. Okay, now here if I click on employee, we have this two webs, uh, this two field. Now, let's say I want this field label should be in a proper manner. It should be employee name, not EMP name or it should be employee salary not EMP salary okay so here we can say that uh, label label equals to employee name so if we do this and refresh over here then you can see we got this amazing label over here all right then let's say you want to allow the user to enter only 50 characters maximum 50 characters are accepted then here you can say max length equals to 50 or whatever you want to assign the number okay so the next property is require so if i set this required equals to true then this form will force the user to actually enter the data okay no matter you have you know did this null equals to true and blank equals to true still it will force user to enter the data by the way the null equals to true and blank equals to true means this this particular field can be null or this particular field can be blank also okay this is what the two variable mean okay then next is widget so here i say widget equals to forms dot text input uh, let me write comma over here and here i will say text input and inside the parenthesis i will say attributes which is a double t r s and this a double t r s will accept only dictionary okay so don't be confused guys if you want to pass css class in this then you can write class over here do this colon and pass the value which mean the class name in our case it is form hyphen control so if i save come over here refresh then you can see the bootstrap class is applied over here okay and if i just go ahead and do inspect element then you can see the label and the input so here let me zoom oops yeah here you can see the input field right and they have also passed the class over here let me do something like this so it would be more visible you can see class is form control this is the same class which we have passed over here so form rendering is very easy and very convenient in the Django right so after this we have initial so here I will say initial equals to let's say name if I save and come over here and refresh then you can see the initial value will be pre-filled okay 
it will basically pre-fill the particular field that's it this is known as initial no more explanation about this then we have the help text so if i say help text equals to please enter your full name the format is first name then last name like this okay if i save it come over here refresh then you can see it i also added the help text over here it seemed to be that this form is uneven i will also explain you how you can order this form but for now just bear with me and understand the main funda okay yeah these are the main properties of the character field and this is it for the character field and i already told you that what character field is it will basically accept simple text from the user nothing else okay so yeah this is it for today's video guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in next one thank you